I'm a Muslim, but nobody's perfect. Even like I'm not, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't consider myself a uh, practicing Muslim. Because there's times uh, where, where it gets in the way of, you know, religion and stuff like that. Fresh, fresh coffee. Ali, make some fresh coffee, Ali. No, no, it was like 20 minutes. If you don't like it, we'll make another one for you. So I walked in, and this is the most well-organized, well-stocked bodega, corner store. What do you guys say? We're in Queens. Okay. Yeah, I see like bodega is like a, it's like a Brooklyn uh, bronze thing. Right. But uh, you can consider it a bodega. The point is you have everything but. But, but beer. We said, okay, you know what? We're not gonna bring in beer, we're not gonna apply for that, but we're gonna bring in everything. You know, whether it was burgers, salads, uh, chickens, mm -hmm. bull's head meat, uh, juices, smoothies. You have 20 different kinds of tea, cold brew, hot food. There's marinara sauce, peanut butter and jelly. Cereal, man, we, we, I try to carry all of the, the crazy cereals, man. Because there used to be a supermarket, to tell you the truth, up the block. After they closed, we actually started doing good doing cereal. So at our home bodega, he said the number one seller is by far is beer and water. And I gave him a hard time about the water because I'm like, no way, water is your number one seller. But he said, well, beer and water. With beer, it's just like a religious thing for us. You know, I've, I've, uh, I've had a store with beer, for tell you the truth. I had a store in Brooklyn, we had everything, you know, like beer, it was in Greenpoint, beer, food, and everything, but it, it didn't work out, you know. Is there anything in the religion or the teaching that says, okay, it's fine if you're like a merchant and you're selling these things, if it's, you're not eating the bacon. Uh, and no, it actually states, it actually states in the Quran, uh, whoever sells it, even though you're not drinking it, like you said, right. or whatever, whoever buys it, like even if you touch it or anything like that, it's like forbidden. Mm -hmm. But people still do forbidden stuff, you know, whether you are Muslim, Christian. No, not me. Uh, <laughs> no, about that. I don't judge, you know, I don't judge. I'm not doing a good job, Anthony. You're doing a bad job. <laughs> Whatever you read in the Quran, yeah. it's the way you explain it to yourself. To me, it's halal. You know, it's cornflakes. It's not. There's no uh, yeah. gelatin or uh, any pork. Uh, you know, thing that's it's it. Jello. Jello. I try to take it out too to take the truth. So you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I threw out. You should see how many I threw out. But yeah. But look, this the way I go with it is the K. Okay. So see the K. The kosher. Yes. My father. That was the th first thing that he actually taught me. Like when we got here, right. I was 11 years old. So he's explaining to us how do you know which one is pork, which one is not. I'm gonna do like my father does. We used to go, uh, you know, grocery shopping with him, like on the, on the supermarket, you know, the aisles. He would start fixing them the same thing <laughs> because he's so used to it. I used to work in my father's store in Bedford Stuyvesant when I was, you know, 15, 16. I used to bag beer, fill up beer, you know, stuff like that. They had to sell, you know, beer. That was the only option. That's what people wanted, you know. But nowadays, you know. Uh, you have options. You can make it. I've, I've known, I know a lot of friends yeah. that open up stores similar to us. You know, no beer, no pork, and they make money. Yeah. So there's an option. Like you could see, yeah. you see, there's people. Uh, he's making money, yeah. doing it the right way. And I, I know, and I have family too that still sell beer and stuff like that. But uh, it's their choice. It's not yeah. a. When it comes to religion. It's a personal choice. How do you think selling beer would have affected your bottom line? Do you think like it would have helped your growth it faster? Would have, I would have, I would have, that's correct. It would yeah. have helped me because it took me a while to tell the truth. To, 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 to uh, make a profit. Yeah. You know, it took us about a year and a half from the day we started. We, we opened up about May 2015, mm -hmm. and it took us a while. You know, like I think any business, you don't make money. It's impossible 
unless you have a golden idea or gold mine, right. you would make money the first day. But it did take us a while. You got to build a re uh, reputation. Right. So this is one of my neighbors, but he doesn't like me. He's always into other people's business. <laughs> come on, Saeed, come. Yeah, you lived here longer than me. He was born on this block. It's like this guy, he, he's Egyptian, I'm from Yemen. But we got to know each other. You know, we were from the same, uh, same culture and same everything. It's a different dialect. Yeah, I mean, it's different. But we understand each other. But he, he's lived here, yeah, your whole life, right? Yeah, my whole life. He lived here and his whole life is on this block. And now we're friends now. Are we friends? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. I think it's like every, uh, every grocery store is like that. You know, there's always a super, there's always a, a lady like Cherry. But, uh, that's what I found out too, even like my other stores. This is like a community center. Yes. Okay, if they want something like milk or water or sandwiches or whatever, and then, you know, we gotta be nice. I think you like two items. Give it to him. Thank you, brother. No problem. Thank you. I think when you come to New York City, you love it. Everybody falls in love with this. Every, anything you need, it's here. <laughs> I don't have except beer. <laughs> what does this here mean? You buying? <laughs>